Okay, so in this video here, we're gonna show you how to make your own custom carrier logo. Uh, I'm just gonna go really quickly through it. So I already made my own here, as you can see. So this is basically how it looks. It's the reason why it's different because when you navigate through different files on your iPhone, the carrier logo actually changes. If you guys don't notice, you'll notice it when you get really good at it and creative at it as well. So first thing is first. I'm not gonna remake it. I'm just gonna go through the sizes and basically how to get yourself started. So you have to have Adobe Photoshop. Then you go to the You go to file, the new. From here, width is going to be. Width is going to be 83. Height is going to be 40. And everything stays the same as you can see here. It's going to be transparent as well. Title, you're going to change it regardless. You can leave it as that. Go to OK. And this is what you come out with. Come out with something like this. So you just get creative with whatever color you want to do. So let's do this. So it would work out like this. So you just type in. It's pretty small. Let's make it bigger. So you just type in whatever. like that so that's basically that so it's a carrier logo and then you save it you'd save your carrier logo to if you're with Rogers you'd save it to this name here okay so these are the names that you save it to so basically, I guess you would create you create it however you would like to create it. Then these are the names that you would save it to. And it's to be saved as PNG file, ping, okay? So now we're going to show you how to install it. So we're going to log into SSH. And I already have mine installed, but I'll go through it again. You can go here. And then you're going to go to private. Bar. Mobile. Library. And this is one that you're clicking on care bundle bundle. And as you can see, mine is already installed. That's how it looks right there. That's how it looks right there. And my other one. That's how it looks right there. And you can see like the sizes and details and the file name that you save it as. So that's your default. That's the default that comes with the iPhone. 
So for the iPhone 4, you gotta make your extension at 2x in order for the iPhone to read it. So that's basically it. You click and you drag it in. Exit. As you can see, I have it installed right there. So it's easy. I hope this video helps. If you have any questions or concerns, feel free to send me a note.